Our days at the beach may have disappeared along with the summer season, but that doesn't mean the sun has gone into hibernation. Sunburn is mainly caused by ultraviolet B rays, known to you and I as UVB, which is at its strongest in the summer. But these rays can burn and damage your skin all through the year. And to make that point, our resident GP, Dr. Donnie Fick, who you got to know last week on the show, hit the streets of Johannesburg early this morning with a group of runners. They've just finished a, a 5K fun run. I've never understood that term, fun run, at the popular 44 and Stanley Precinct here in Johannesburg, where he's catching his breath and he joins us live from there. Dr. Donny, thank you so much for your time. I hope you've done your post-run stretches. Tell us why you and your motley clue of runners 100%. decided to take a run to try and raise awareness around skin cancer. Yes, and we chose one of the coldest days in Johannesburg <laughs> to do it, but it's worthwhile. And I think, <laughs> I think as runners, we spend a lot of time in the sun, but we're always worried about what shoes we wear, what apparel we're using, nutrition, making sure it looks good on Instagram. But we never think about the damage even effects of being in the sun for so many hours can be. And I think this morning's run was to illustrate that you need to wear sunscreen, not only when you partake in outdoor activities, but pretty much all the time. And I thought about you this morning when I was getting ready for work because I believe also if you sit under really strong professional lights, if you spend a lot of time in front of a laptop with a specific level of lighting, that that too can cause damage. It really is a silent killer in certain ways, isn't it? Yeah. So not many people know this, but there's two different types of UV rays. I think you mentioned UVB earlier, which only accounts for 5% of the rays that come from the sun. Those are the ones we classically know to give us the sunburn. But there's also 95% of the rays that come from the sun are actually UVA rays, which like clouds don't protect you from, barrier clothing doesn't protect you from, and that's why skin care is so important to protect you from the UVA rays. And I think that's what you're speaking about, just artificial light in the office, being in your car, you can still cause damage to your skin. Now, now we found out yesterday, when we, last week rather, on the show, and we started getting to know you a little bit better as our resident GP, that you do also encourage people to be outdoors, to exercise as a very serious preventative measures for various health um, ailments, including your mental health. So we do want South 100%. Africans to get out there, but they need to protect themselves in more, more ways than one. Do you think that there's enough awareness about that fact that, especially here where we are, where um, in Johannesburg, we have a lot of sunshine. Do we have enough awareness amongst people that they do need to be taking those measures? And let's face it also, I spoke about this with a de uh, dermatologist recently, people of color, black people, brown people, they need to use um, uh, sun protection as well. 100%. And I don't think there's enough awareness because yesterday I was at a conference and I found out an alarming fact. We have now become, in South Africa, the skin cancer capital of the world. We have now beaten the Australians. I mean, we're good at beating them at rugby and cricket. Now we beat them to skin cancer numbers as well. And that's quite alarming that we've overtaken them. So clearly something needs to be done. Clearly we need to be speaking about this more. Clearly we need to raise more awareness around the fact that, yes, have an outdoor lifestyle. Exercise for your mental health, physical health, blood pressure, diabetes, but also protect your skin because skin cancers are real. And clearly in South Africa, we have the highest amount of cases of skin cancer. Now, so now you talk about Australia. We do know in Australia, they've got a massive culture in sun protection. I mean, the, at schools, kids are not allowed to go into schools in the summer without wearing a hat. So they've got a massive a drive about yeah. sun protection. And we're nowhere, we're nowhere close to that. Should we be getting all of our government departments involved as yeah. well? I think we should get everyone involved and I think it starts with local communities and that's what we did this morning. Our local running community, we spend a lot of time together in the sun and that's where it starts and we start the message in the local communities and hopefully that spreads and spreads and then obviously we need to rely on private companies like the one that came out and sponsored us this morning. We need to rely on government to also get involved as well. So we need to and also even if you don't just wear sunscreen, use other sun like safe sun practices like wear a hat cover your arms seek shade when you're out riding don't try and be in the sun all the time mm. 
One final question before I let you go, because we know cost of living crisis affects everything. It also includes how people decide what kind of products to purchase. And um, at my age, I spend a little bit more on my, on my sunblock, and I'm able to, to do so. But uh, what should we, you be looking for when you pick up a bottle to decide this is what I want to get to protect um, my, the skin on my body and then, of course, the skin on my face as well? So you should look for a good SPF factor, I think, of 50. That is the gold standard. And you should look for a sunscreen that protects you from UVB, as you mentioned earlier, and UVA rays as well. Okay, we're going to leave it there. Dr. Donny Fick, off you go with your post-fun run um, a recovery. You're going to have to explain fun, the fun in the run part for me. Dr. Donny Fick coming to us live there from 44 and Stanley Precinct uh, here in Johannesburg. Unlike most of us, rather sedentary here behind the news desk, there are a lot of people out there who are getting their, their, um, their steps in, as they call it today, as the rest of us still wake up to face the rest of the Sunday morning.